hello 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 good morning good morning good morning facebook good morning oh my goodness all right it's on it's on on this sunday good morning good morning good morning yes hello good morning all right guys it's on it's on it's on hello hello welcome hey Lisette. what's going on my sister happy sunday what's going on prince ike <laughs> hi christina hey good morning good morning good morning how are you hey what's going on mr ali good morning good morning like share like share like share good morning happy sunday to you you know i like to come on on sundays and talk to you guys as much as i can right now today i'm in sunny jacksonville florida and a lot of people don't know i actually went to high school in jacksonville and so it's like been forever since i've been back and so we had an amazing uh super saturday yesterday uh in jacksonville florida miss eileen ross uh mr orlando moore walter and tiffany powell and our amazing founder uh, Mr. Donald Bradley, uh, guys, people are just fired up all over the world. And so uh, yesterday in Jacksonville, Florida was, you know, a day like no other where we touched a lot of lives. And so it was just an honor. It was just amazing coming out of an amazing electric convention where I see my brother Damian Goins, who just got his six figure ring. Congratulations, my brother so proud of you uh part-time as a principal making six figures on the side mm, what a blessing and until today hey charmaine denise good morning my sister i love you to life oh good morning what's going on stacy oh my sister sarah in the uk hey fireball i could not be more proud of you uh, we got people all the way, uh, all around the world who are just, you know, looking to win. And so, guys, uh, I, I really am excited today to talk to you about a topic that I think that would really help you uh, to understand, you know, what you need to do to break through to the next level. Because so many people, you know, as I talk to people and they're talking about their breakthrough, they're talking about what they need to do, they want to do, oh, I want to go to the next level. But they always talk about what somebody else is doing and what somebody else is not doing. <laughs> Guys, th this, this topic today is entitlement will keep you broke. Mm. Entitlement will keep you broke. See, see, nobody owes you anything. I, I just needed to come on Facebook today for five minutes and say to you that Guys, nobody owes you anything. And one of the things that, that you have today, God woke you up, you have breath in your body, you have a gift, and it's called life. And, and life means that you have the ability to change the game. If you have breath in your body, that means that you have the ability to do something about your situation. And what do I mean by that? That means that you can absolutely change the trajectory of your path. Nobody is limiting you in any way. I just needed to make sure that you understood that and knew that because I hear people talking, Miss Watkins, you know, uh, if my upline would do this, if my husband would do that, only if my children, all oh, my parents, my, nobody, owes you anything you can't wait until such and such is doing such guys you can't wait on anyone if you want it done it's truly if it's to be it's up to me it's not your upline your downline your sideline if you have somebody who introduce you uh to an opportunity if that person introduced you to an opportunity in life they gave you a gift. If they spend a moment or two pouring into you, they gave you a gift. If your parents gave you the gift of life, that is a gift they forever have given you. 
but nobody owes you anything else. Nobody owes you anything else. Some people feel like my friends owe me. My, my, my relatives owe me. Guys, no, they don't. We have people falling out with people, people mad at people. I'm telling you, you got to release that today. You got to in your mind say, nobody owes me anything. And whatever people do for you is a gift. I know that you guys know uh, the story of, yes, Mr. Rollins, show gratitude by going to work. That's it. You guys know the story of the prodigal son where he was born, you know, to a wonderful and generous father, but he felt like he was owed his birthright. So the prodigal son, you guys know, took his birthright. He took all that was due to him and he went and turned up. He went and took everything and turned up. But here's the thing. The people who were around him meant him no good. They weren't really there for him. They were there for what he could offer them. And if anybody is around you for what you can offer them, guys, I promise you, that's not a friend. That, that, that's not somebody who's really for you. You know, you want to know who's around you when you can't do anything for them. Who are really the people that are there if you have nothing to offer? Of course, friendships are two-way streets. But guys, you got to be the person who's willing to give more than you get. That's really when you know you've gone to the next level. You know, and the prodigal son came to himself. After he turned it up, he spent it all, and he was down to nothing See, guys, I promise you, when you're down to nothing, it is such a humbling experience. You know, April the 4th of 2014, when I lost my job, when I was down to nothing, guys, God is always up to something. Sometimes we have to lose it all to gain it all. And that's the beauty of it, because when the prodigal son lost it all, he said, you know what? Somebody loves me and I'm going to go home. I'm going to humble myself because my father's servants are living better than me. And guys, I love it because when you go down to nothing, he didn't feel sorry for himself. He didn't say, you know what? That's my father. Even though I spent everything, he still owes me. I'm his son. No, he said, I will go home and I will serve. I will be a servant for my father. I will beg him to take me back. I will humble myself. I will serve my father as an employee, if that's what it takes. Guys, he wasn't going home expecting, no. But here's what I need you to know, is that we are children of the Almighty. And guys, when we humble ourselves, when we get that spirit of humility, when we get that spirit of servanthood, when we finally stop acting like we are entitled, something magical happens. When we stop acting like the world owes us something, something magical happens. And people see that and people admire that. And I promise you, that's where the game changes for us. His father came to him. When he saw that spirit of humility, he knew his son was ready to be a man. When you're ready to be a woman, when you're ready to be a man, now you understand it's not all about me. It's about me humbling myself. And he said to his father, Father, I'm here to serve. His father said, no, let's go slay a calf. Let's have a feast. I'm going to put a ring on your finger, son. I'm going to put a robe on your back. And I want to elevate you. See, God is ready to elevate us. He's ready to take us to our rightful places as kings and queens if we would just humble ourselves to know nobody owes us anything. If we could just get to the point where we say, I am ready to serve. I am ready to give. I'm ready to take, that's when you go to the next level. That's when he will put a ring on it. That's when he'll put a robe on your back. That's when he will take you to your rightful place. Louise, I see you, I'm on my way. That's when you will take responsibility. And see, God knows the universe gives you nothing you don't earn and deserve. I promise you that. 
He knows when you're ready for your elevation. Many of us have not gone to our next elevation, our next place, because we still thinking somebody else owes us something. We mad at the world. We're mad at everybody. But when you release that, when you let that go, when you say, I will work harder than anybody else, I will serve harder than anybody else, I will be more humble than anybody else. When you get to that place, I promise you the father who knows you are a king and a queen, he will put that ring on you. And I'm talking about a ring, uh, not in the physical sense. I'm talking about your royal birthright and what is due to you. You're going to get that elevation once we go uh, and humble our play ourselves like the prodigal son did. And when he came, guys, with his head down, his father knew he was ready. And so, guys, today, especially my millennial brothers and sisters, oh, millennials, I love y'all, but it's just a sense of entitlement that's going on out here. People feeling like, I, oh, you know, the world, oh, you should listen to me. You should take my advice. You should take my, you know, my idea. And nobody has to buy into nothing we say, nothing we do. If they do, great. If they don't, find those people who are there for you. Find those people who are truly, there's some loyalty there. Find those individuals, those situations, how you can serve better, how you can teach better. Guys, I'm in Florida today. I live in Texas, but I'm here to serve the masses. I'm here to serve. I'm back where I started in high school, Jacksonville, Florida, ready to teach and pour into some people. And I'm so grateful for the people who poured into me. I'm so grateful for the people who, who saw that maybe I was frivolous. <laughs> maybe I was the prodigal son that, you know, squandered, squandered my, my inheritance. You know, I was irresponsible. I'm so glad that the people who really loved me didn't judge me. I'm so glad they didn't hold that against me. And I'm glad to have a chance to every single day to improve myself. And that's really what we need to seek is self-improvement. How can I get better? Not what can somebody else do, but how can I serve more? How can I get better? And when we take that on, like the prodigal son did, we elevate to our next level. So like, share, like, share. Hello, uh, Miss Rhonda Coleman. I am so proud of you. Ebony, Kendra, hello, queens and kings that are joining me all around the world. It's time for us to have a spirit of gratitude, of servanthood. It's time for us to stop feeling like the world owes me something and go to that place where you are truly serving the masses. Guys, I am so grateful today to be in Jacksonville, Florida. Hello to my Aunt Queen Reba. Hello today on this Lord's Day, on this Sunday. Find a way to share with someone hope. Find a way to tell someone you love them, encourage them, uplift them, and let them know that they have the power to change their destiny. That's what we can do. Every one of us can change our destiny by taking control. So guys, I just want to spend a few moments with you today on this Sunday. Have an amazing weekend. Have an amazing week. And hopefully I'll be back next Sunday to share something powerful with you. I'm going to get better with this live video stuff. But um, guys, no sense of entitlement. Let's all stay humble. Let's all stay in a hunger mode and help the masses. Have an amazing, amazing week, guys. Bye-bye.